This is Dr. Ashok Kumar Biswarapur, Associate Professor, Department of Studies in Education and uh, Deputy Registrar, Evolution Section, Karnataka State Akkamadevi Women's University, Vijayapura, Karnataka State. My dear all, let us know today about the science and science as a body of knowledge. We all know that man has been trying to understand the changes going around him and has been constantly receiving a great number of impressions through his various senses such as hearing, smell, sight, taste and touch. So this is the trend that human being is trying to gain the information constantly and this way of changes and capturing the new information through his various senses such as hearing, smell, sight, taste and touch is continuously and constantly going on. Making an effective use of his senses and his communicative ability, he accumulated information about his surroundings. Through his senses, by gaining the information and his an effective communicative ability made to accumulate the information about his surroundings. This systematized store of human knowledge gained after generalization and interrelating the various isolated facts is known as science. Friends, we all know that science is a systematic study and the, uh, the way the human being has collect the information, gain the information through his various senses systematically and after accommodating the information, he generalized and interrelated the various facts which is known as science. Now coming to the point, science is a void of knowledge. Void of knowledge include facts, concepts and theories that are subject to error and change. So, body of knowledge includes the concept, theories and facts which are related to error and change. It is a continuous process. The scientific knowledge exists in the form of facts, concepts, principles and laws, hypotheses and theories. Now, science is uh, dynamic in nature. And the scientific information is constantly being rearranged and reoriented in the light of new knowledge. As and when we experience the new changes and as and when we expect the new information, the facts which are collected are being rearranged and reoriented in the light of new knowledge. That is one of the main, uh, the dynamic nature of the science. Science never proves anything in an absolute sense. It needs the facts, it needs experimentation. It accumulates data by observation and measurement. The observation and measurement are the two factors through which the uh, science accumulates the uh, data. From an assemblage of such data, the scientists construct a hypothesis. So, hypothesis is constructed through assembling the data. A formula that expresses the relationship he finds. The scientist always uh, construct a hypothesis which expresses the relationship whatever he wants to find through such a data. As soon as further observations show that the working hypothesis is faulty, it is replaced by another which seems more nearly correct. Friends, uh, hypothesis here means uh, a shrewd guess. So, once if it is uh, proved as fault or wrong, it is replaced by another, so which is uh, very near to the what we are expecting. This is uh, narrated by the Bush in 1965. Hope you all got the information about the science as a uh, body of knowledge. So it is always changing and uh, restructuring and rearranging through which 
we uh, will gain uh, the information uh, and it is it is it is in the process of continuous uh, process and progress so thank you all so please subscribe and hit the like button and don't forget to wear the mask and maintain the social distance uh, to escape from this pandemic situation thank you thank you and all thank you